talk about beer. Beer is the big winner from Constellation Brands' second quarter results. The owner of Modelo and Corona Brands raised its guidance for fiscal 2024 with its beer portfolio posting 12% sales growth. So hold on, where are all the wine drinkers? Joining us now, perhaps one of them, Bill Kirk. Roth Capital Partners Senior Research Analyst. Bill, I, you know, I, I don't want to falsely report whether or not you're a wine aficionado or, um, you know, a, a grand sommelier, but all that considered here, what's your takeaway, the big breakdown here from Constellation Brands, and, and where particularly does this kind of lean into your own evaluation of the company? Yeah, I mean, it, I think your intro was completely right. Uh, so you saw the consolidated operational beat despite the, the softness in wine. Um, so wine shipments were down uh, in the mid-teens, wine depletions down about 9%, and yet here's a company that is able to raise guidance on the strength of Modelo, on the strength of Corona, and on the strength of, of Pacifico. Um, what you have here is a, a consumer staples company that's accelerating through the year, and that's a bit rare within, within this uh, you know, broader segment. Uh, 2Q here for them was better than 1Q, 3Q should again be better than 2Q, and that is on both top line shipments for beer and for beer profitability. Well, digging into that a little bit more here, Bill, because when you take a look at some of the momentum that we saw from the quarter, some of that being attributed to the benefits of that constellation that the Modelo brand has seen from the boycott of Bud Light. When we talk about the stickiness of that consumer and the market share gain, what's your read on that? Um, we think it's going to be very sticky. Um, so these results of beer accelerating happened before retailers are re resetting their shelf space. So right now in the fall, retailers are allocating more space to Constellation's product and they're taking space away from Bud Light. Um, and so what we think that does is, is twofold. Uh, it reduces any sort of out of stocks, right? Just the more product you have on the shelf, the less likely you're to be out on a big weekend. Uh, and, and it increases advertising, right? If you're looking for a brand, it's much easier to find it if, if the shelf space is greater. So uh, that happens, uh, you know, uh, after this quarter's period. And that's part of what becomes the stickiness of, of the product. So, uh, you know, that is happening in a larger amount on a go forward basis than it even has so far today. Bill, we had seen some of the major beer manufacturers really seek to capitalize off a, a change either in taste or preference following the, the issues that Bud Light had run into over the summer and earlier this year. Is that something that is still at play here from what you're seeing in these results from Constellation Brands? Yeah, so uh, the demographics are squarely in their favor. People want uh, lighter, more refreshing beers, especially during the summer months of this reported period, uh, and they play directly into that into that uh, you know tailwind. Um, so Modelo trends are uh, you know plus nine percent, and that's in a beer industry that is struggling to grow. The beer industry is declining, and here you have one of the biggest beer brands in the United States, the biggest beer brand over the summer, nearly still growing double digits. Uh, so they are squarely in, in growth trajectory. Their focus is on those core three brands, Modelo, Corona, and, and Pacifico. And so that's where you're going to see the marketing. Uh, that's where you're going to see the innovation attention. And that's where you're going to see the resources appropriate, appropriately attributed. So, so are we to believe, because this is, to your point, in marketing spend, a company that has leaned in to big partnerships with those like Snoop Dogg. Is Snoop Dogg paying off from what you're saying for, for Constellation Brands here? Uh, so their marketing is, is world class. And, and part of the beauty of it is they got it right so long ago, uh, right? That Corona messaging has not changed in a long time. It's resonated, uh, so why mess with it too much, right? You can tinker with it with, with Snoop Dogg or you can tinker with it uh, uh, with Andy Samberg, uh, but it's basically the same message it has been for a long time. Uh, Modelo also, uh, you know, going back almost eight, 10 years now, has been basically the same marketing message the whole time, the fighting spirit, the, the everyday consumer, uh, and, and that makes it a lot easier uh, to implement ad campaigns when you don't have to refine your message and they don't have to refine their message simply because it's working right with how well they're growing they don't have to do anything too dramatic they can kind of stay in this precise uh, marketing lane which is which has been good for a very long time bill when we talk about the risk of a recession how alcohol sales are going to hold up if we do see a larger pullback what do you see that's ahead here for constellation and also more specifically 
when it comes to the wine business, one of the weaker parts of this report. Are you confident that we'll see a turnaround there? Um, so the two best beer volume years uh, in the last, say, 20 uh, were the great financial crisis. Uh, so the best two beer volume years were basically 2008, 2009. So beer holds up very well. Uh, and, and it's because there's a there's kind of a natural trade down. If you want to spend less on beer, you can without without uh, you know forfeiting any six packs. You can just drink less at restaurants drink more at home, you save money and can drink the same amount of beer. So they have a natural trade down kind of protection built in. Um, on the wine side, um, that is a little bit more discretionary. That is a little bit more higher price point on premise. And that's where that's where some of the struggles have been. So I don't have a lot of confidence wine's going to improve, but it's only about 8% of the company's profits. So I do think wine struggles continue. I do think the trade has too much wine inventory and the consumer, if, if they tighten, uh, has a, a little bit of a, uh, a, a wine price point avoidance. All right, well, despite the B Constellation brands under a bit of pressure here this morning, Bill Kirk, Roth Capital Partners, a senior research analyst. Thanks.